As you can see right now, it's your boy in the flesh being kind of dumb, not pressing record for the audio, fixing his hair, thinking he's slick. You ain't though. You sweaty. You musty. You smell like poop. So first I'm just explaining the problem, talking about how there's two mass, two spheres with one with a mass of one kilogram and other with a mass of two kilograms, each at the end of a meter long pole and they are spinning counterclockwise at 20 RPMs. And right now I'm just talking about the torque equation and how the torque equation requires the moment of inertia and angular acceleration. As you can see, those are two things that I've written down already on the table. Now I'm pointing at angular acceleration with my chubby little fingers. And I'm talking about the components of the equation right now. And from the components, we can gather that you must convert 20 RPM into radians, and after doing so, divide it by the time taken to bring those balls to a halt, and after doing so, we find that the angular acceleration has equaled 0.4188 radians per second squared. Next thing we need to find is the center of mass. I'm staring right at it, and right in its soul, and I'm talking to you about how the equation is the mass of the first sphere times the distance, which would be zero. It's just zero. Trust me, it's zero. Plus the mass of the second sphere times the length of the rod, which is just one, and all of that divided by three, and the resulting equation equals 0 0.6 repeating meters. Now I'm talking about the moment of inertia equation, as you can see what I've written up there. It is the first mass times, and now that we've found all that, I move over to the torque equation, where I show you, once again, that the moment of inertia and the angular acceleration, its products will equal the torque needed to bring these balls to a halt. And afterwards, we've realized that that number is 0 0.8376 newtons per meter, and I look like a frickin' doofus.